St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Catholic Women's League of Canada. This Mass is offered for the success of the CWL Day of Action, which takes place Monday, April 26th. Their intentions for this day are for peace and for hope, and some of their members are here with us today. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada, all six time zones gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. We present ourselves as we are, sinful in need of pardon, wounded in need of healing, and joyful because we know God will give us what we need. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Father, by the love of your Spirit, may we who have experienced the grace of the Lord's resurrection rise to the newness of life in joy. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogue at Damascus, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he was going along and approaching Damascus, suddenly a, a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, Who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, because they heard a voice but saw no one. Saul got from the ground, and though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. For three days he was without sight, and neither ate nor drank. Now there was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias. The Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias. He answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and at the house of Judas, Look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. At this moment, he is praying, and he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him so that he might be regain his sight. But Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much evil he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. And here, he has authority from the chief priest to bind all who invoke your name. But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, for he is an instrument whom I have chosen to bring my name before Gentiles and kings and before the people of Israel. I myself will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. He laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on your way here, has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes, and his sight was restored. Then he got up and was baptized. 
After taking some food, he regained his strength. For several days, Saul was with the disciples in Damascus, and immediately he began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogue, saying, Jesus is the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the Father, the living Father, sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Not like that which your ancestors ate, and they died. But the one who eats this bread will live forever. Jesus said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum. My brothers and sisters, for our salvation, the gospel of the Lord. Praise you. 